This is a photoresistor sensor. It's a simple electronic component with two wires and the main photoresistor element at the top. Photoresistors are easily identifiable because on the face of the component you can see a squiggly line like this one. The datasheet for this photoresistor does the best job of describing how the photoresistor works and what it is, so let's take a look at it. The description of the photoresistor calls it a photoconductive photocell, another name for the photoresistor. It is designed to sense light between 400 and 700 nanometers, and the brightness of the light sensed by the photoresistor will change the resistance across the two wires. A few more important details on the datasheet, the voltage across the resistor should not exceed 150 volts, and the operating range is between minus 30 degrees Celsius and plus 75 degrees Celsius. The second page of the datasheet gives a ton of information about the photoresistor that we'll be using. For example, in complete darkness, the resistance across the photoresistor is at least 5 mega ohm. More important is this graph, which shows you the resistance of the photoresistor and how it changes with the luminosity of light upon the sensor measured in lux. When very bright light is on the sensor, resistance is near 1 ohm. When little to no light is on the sensor, the resistance is in the mega ohm range. Armed with this new knowledge, let's use the photoresistor and design a laser tripwire system that turns on an alarm whenever the tripwire is breached. The hardware side of this system will consist of the photoresistor's input and the alarm output. The schematic for this system will have the Arduino Nano at its heart with plus 5 volt and ground connections to the breadboard bus lines. Then analog pin 7 will connect in between a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the photoresistor. The other side of the photoresistor will connect to power and the other side of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to ground. This will create a voltage divider when little to no light is on the sensor, and a short circuit when lots of light, like a laser beam, is on the sensor. Digital pin 2 will connect to a 470 ohm resistor to control the buzzer board. The buzzer board will also connect to plus 5 volt power and ground. And that is the complete hardware schematic. The software side of this experiment begins by assigning the buzzer pin and photoresistor sensor pin to digital pin 2 and analog pin 7. We'll use a variable called threshold to know when the photoresistor is being activated. We need to use a threshold value since the photoresistor's input comes from the analog input. In the setup function, we set the buzzer pin to output and the photoresistor pin to input. In the loop function, we do three things. First, we get the sensor data. Second, we evaluate if the sensor data is greater than the threshold. If it is greater than the threshold, then the laser beam is still on the sensor. Else if it is less than the threshold, something is blocking the laser, so turn on the alarm. And a small final delay will help the system work smoothly. So with that, compile the program, upload it to the Arduino Nano, and let's get on to the experiment. To build the circuit, we'll need an Introduction to Sensors Components Kit, a jumper wire kit, and a breadboard. The parts from the components kit that we will use are the Arduino Nano board, the buzzer board, the photoresistor, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and a 470 ohm resistor. To build the circuit, place the Arduino Nano into the breadboard. The plus 5 volt and ground from the Arduino Nano connect to the breadboard bus lines. The 10 kilo ohm resistor connects from ground to analog pin 7 and the photoresistor connects from analog pin 7 to plus 5 volt power. The buzzer board alarm connects to digital pin 2 through a 470 ohm resistor, and it also connects to plus 5 volt power and ground. And with that, the circuit construction is complete. To perform the experiment, plug in the USB cable to power up the circuit, then bend the photoresistor by 90 degrees. Finally, turn on and aim a laser pointer, or very bright flashlight, directly at the photoresistor. Now every time that I interrupt the laser beam with my hand, the Arduino senses this and turns on the alarm. And there you have it, a simple and low cost laser beam tripwire alarm. 
Photoresistors have many applications beyond the security system that we built in the experiment. They are particularly useful in solar panel sun tracking systems. These systems use photoresistors to sense where the sun is in the sky and to point solar panels in that direction in order to get the maximum amount of exposure to the sun. Photoresistors are also found on top of street lights and are used as a primitive way to know whether or not it is daylight. Because of that, it is actually possible to use a strong laser pointer and trick the photoresistor sensor on the street light into thinking that the sun is out even in the middle of the night, thus turning the light off. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. In the next lesson, we will be learning about infrared-based motion sensing and creating a motion detection security system.